Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. And today we're going to be doing a curly mop type haircut. Mostly you'll see this on young guys, you know, kind of a surfer-esque. But today it's got a little bit of curl to it. So we're going to start sectioning with the center section to the occipital bone and then occipital bone to the mastoid to separate the bottom out of the back. We're going to look at some inspiration pictures here, get an idea of what we're going for. So we're going to go somewhere around that type of length and that type of shape. And I'm going to start with my feather plie razor, and I'm going to pull the center section out and comb everything straight down. And with a long, broad stroke, go back and forth across the section slowly, gently, methodically, trying to graduate the section so I get a little bit of stack but I don't want a lot of weight. So this will remove the weight, give me a little bit of stack. We're gonna check the length there, that seems to be looking pretty good. Now we're gonna to go to the right side, and I'm gonna do the same sort of thing. I want this to kind of bevel a little shorter towards the edges and a little longer towards the middle. So we're gonna take a long, broad stroke to cut the length off to give us a little bit of graduation. So we're keeping that blade on the top of the section. We're not really channeling it right now. I wanna build up a little more weight than I do in later sections, but I still want that to be a flat application of the blade against the hair so that we're getting that graduated shape. After we do both sides, we're just going to comb everything down, check our lengths, make sure it's even. I got a little more on the right side there, so let's take that off a little bit. Just holding it in my fingers, pulling it out, being respectful of the blade, and making sure I get the shape like I want. On curly hair, it's, it's as much about getting a, a rough shape into it and then fine-tuning that shape to fit the curl pattern, to fit the thickness, and also the way that the hair flows and moves. So just taking my time and pinching off little bits until I get that to where it looks very similar on both sides. Now we're gonna move up to the next section, which is the next flat section up from the occipital bone to the top of the ear. And this is gonna be the elevation that I'm holding it at. That's peak curvature. So wherever that comb is sticking out from the head, that's the elevation that I want to hold this out. Now I'm going to go through and start channeling this. So by channeling it one direction and then cutting my length off the opposite direction, like you'll see right here, that will give me much more separation of curl and also removal of weight. So I want this to be a light, airy texture on the ends. And the only way I can really get that, especially on thicker hair, is by channel cutting with the razor. So you'll see me go through and channel it one way to get the weight out, to start removing some of the length, and then I'll go the opposite direction. So that gives me, each little channel gives me a little bit of a point at the tip, so it forces it to separate. And it's keeping the movement really neutral. And each section, I want to check the, the length and make sure that my weight distribution is correct and that my flow pattern is correct. Flow pattern meaning which way the hair is wanting to curl. And I want to try to match it as best that I can on both sides. Now here you'll notice I get a little bit of bevel as it starts to curve up towards the face, and that's what I'm really going for. I don't want this square in the back. I want that to get a little shorter shorter at the corner of the hairline so it kind of curls up towards the front. Going through and just fine tuning it until I get everything right like I want. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Now here you can really see a nice deep channel. I want that about two inches in from where my cut guide length is. And then we're gonna go through and cut the length off with the razor motion in the opposite direction. So channeling from left to right, and then cutting our length right to left. Please check out all of our socials at Jatai Feather. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and even TikTok. Now we're going to go through and I'm going to separate the front of the head from the back of the head. And that's going to be the high point of the head straight down to the high point of the parting over the ear. I'm following the same 
elevation, which is the peak curvature. I'll lay the comb at the parting, and whichever elevation that that's showing me, that's how I want to hold the section. And I'm going to continue to repeat what I was doing before, which is channeling one direction and cutting my length the opposite direction so I can continue to get those curls to separate into pieces. I find that if I just go through and razor the bottom and cut the bottom all the same direction, it doesn't force the curls to separate individually. It forces them all to flow whatever direction that I'm razoring towards. It's just something about the, the angle that the cut is on the tips of the hair. So then going through and fine tuning everything through here and making sure everything fits and looks good. Now we got our last section in the back of the head, the peak curvature elevation, and I'm doing exactly the same thing. So by me elevating the hair off the peak curvature, it's giving me a very horizontal, solid type of graduation. By me cutting it with a razor, it's forcing an airiness into the tips and separation. So I have kind of a, a confused cut where it, it has a heavier shape, but it has a lighter texture internally and on the tips. So it gives it that really loose, lived in, kind of grown out feeling to it. Going through and just fine tuning everything and being patient. Here's our last section on our left side and following through the same method. Now after we finish the back, we're going to start working around the front. The front, I'm going to take the first flat section around the front hairline to the section right behind the top of the ear, right at the mastoid. So I have a little bit of guide in the back. I'm looking at where I want my length in the front, which is going to be about the tip of the nose. I'm going to hold that out and then follow the same way I was cutting the back, but being very diligent and very methodical with my approach. I don't want to just go through and just shred the hair. I want to be gentle with the application, but I want to be very, very precise with it as well. So that's going to be my shortest length right there in the front. And I want to check it and make sure that the length is right. Now I'm going to start working that into where my guide is over the ear. I'm holding that down. I have my shortest piece at the inside of my finger, and I'm pointing my fingers towards the length that I'm going to and following the same methodology, the same application of cut line right through there. Perfect. Now you can really see my guide length that I'm going to and the guide length I'm going from and applying the same methodology and being mindful of where this is falling in relation to the front of the hairline right at the center where my shortest piece is and where it's going to fall over the ear. I want a smooth transition from the short piece in the center of the face all the way to that section over the ear. So I want to be mindful of how it's falling, and I want to be very conscientious of my length. I want to pay attention to the length because with the razor, it's harder to go back in and fine tune as it would be a scissor, but I cannot get this texture any other way like I can with the razor. So I have to be diligent in how I'm cutting it and pay attention to where my guides are because I don't get a lot of opportunity to go back in and really fine tune a lot. So I have to be as precise and perfect with the application of my cut as I can be. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of any future Detai Academy videos. Now we're going to continue the same section and going back and I'm following my guide from underneath and I'm going to cut the same method where I'm pulling slightly forward and down at an angle so I start to build up some weight, but I'm relieving the weight from the razor so it gives me that lived in type of texture and because I'm razoring it two different ways, I get a nice pieciness to it. Check that out, make sure that the lengths are looking pretty good. And I'm gonna to continue to work this back until I run out of hair. And I'm still going off the peak curvature of the head for my elevation. Following the guide underneath and just repeat. 
Now I have to be mindful of the razor because especially the, the plie, I have no guard on it, so it gives me the most precise cut line, but it also exposes the most blade, especially compared to like the Feather Styling Razor, which has a built-in guard. So I wanna be careful, I wanna take my time and be very respectful of the blade. After that, we're going to go through and put a little curl cream into it and then go through and ribbon out individual curls so I can force all this hair to curl together and have a nice soft texture. I find that if I'm really patient in the separating of curls like I'm doing here and I go through and I take my time and really get those curls to clump together and separate it really goes a long way in fighting any kind of frizziness and helps that hair stay together more. And I can still get a nice separation and fullness to it without fear of it getting really frizzy. Now, as I'm diffusing it, I'm not shaking the hair. I've separated the curl. I'm just gonna apply the heat through the diffuser so I don't blow it around too much. I actually like this haircut done better if it's air dried but for sake of time, we're gonna dry it a little bit, and I wanna be respectful of it and not really dislodge it too much. We're looking pretty good there, and I think that this shape is pretty good. It's pretty modern, especially if you have curly hair and you're trying to grow it out longer. This is a really good transition from short to really long hair. Please check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great information on there. Please give us a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much.